As a hacker, the final stage of the penetration testing is to cover the tracks, which means to wipe out all the activity and the logs so that we cannot be traced back to. So that's what we're going to be learning in this video. We're going to be learning how to wipe out all the logs and bash history so that we remain undetected after hacking. So let's get started. I'm in my Kali Linux right now. For the purpose of this video, imagine I have compromised this Kali Linux machine. However, in a real world environment, you might be compromising some other Linux machine. But the process of clearing tracks is exactly the same. So let's see how we can clear the tracks. The first thing that the blue team or the forensics team will investigate on a compromised machine is what commands that have been run. So if I open the terminal and type the command history and press enter, I can see these are all the commands that have been run by the hacker. So in order to not get caught, we need to clear the history. So to clear the history, simply type the command history space dash c and press enter. C is for clear. Now if I type the command history and press enter, I can see no previous command is shown. I can also delete the history file itself. So to know the name of your history file, type the command echo space the dollar sign hist file and press enter. I can see the name of my history file is dot bash underscore history. So to remove the file, type the command rm space dot bash underscore history and press enter and the file will be removed. I do not need to do that because I have already cleared the history here. After clearing the command history, we now need to clear the system logs and the system log files are stored under var log. So I will change to the directory with the command cd space forward slash var forward slash log and press enter. This directory contains all the log files of the services and the tools of the machine. So we need to delete the log files of the services or the tools that we use during our penetration testing. One of the important files that we have to delete is the auth.log file. This is the authentication log. This would register if we did any login attempt, any task with sudo and other security related tasks. So suppose if we have used the SSH service, this file would log that. So we need to delete this file. So to delete this file, I will type the command sudo space rm space the name of the file which is auth.log and press enter. Now this file is removed. Next, we need to delete one more important file which is the syslog file. This file registers the system information. So I will remove the file with the command sudo space rm space syslog and press enter. I can now confirm that the syslog file has been removed. But suppose if you do not want to remove any file, because removing a file might raise suspicion, then what you can do is make the file empty. So suppose there is a file called kern.log. This log file stores the kernel information. So if I cut out the content of this file, I can confirm this is logging the kernel information. So let's make this file empty. So to do that, type the command sudo space truncate space dash s space zero space the name of the file which is kern.log and press enter and now if i cut out the content of the file again i can see it is empty other than this remove the log files of the tools and the services that you use during penetration testing so suppose if i have used the postgres sql database then i will change to the directory and in this directory i can see that there is a postgres sql log file so i will remove it with the command sudo space rm space the name of the file and now the file is removed. Next, we need to delete all the files under the temporary directory. So to do that, type the command sudo space rm space dash rf space forward slash tmp forward slash the asterisk symbol and press enter. This would delete all the files and the directories under the tmp folder. As a bonus tip, let's learn how to securely delete a file. Until now, we have used the rm command to delete a file, but there is a problem with this. With any data recovery tool, the files that you delete with rm command can be restored. So let's learn a way how to delete a file so that it cannot be restored. So for that we need to install a tool. So I will type the command sudo space apt space install space secure dash delete and press enter. Continue press capital Y and then press enter and shred will be installed. Now we can securely delete any file. So suppose if I want to delete the file file.py then I will type the command sudo space shred space dash vfzu space the name of the file which is file.py and press enter and this file has been deleted permanently and cannot be restored so if you do not know what any of this means don't worry in my next video I will make a detailed video about shred so now that you understand how to permanently delete a file 
Let's learn how to delete the tool that you use during penetration testing. So if you have downloaded any tool, then you need to remove it. So you can do it with the command sudo space apt space remove space dash dash purge space the name of the tool. I will delete the tool that I just downloaded, which is secure delete and press enter. And the tool will be removed from the system. So that's it. The final thing that we have to do is restart the system so it clears the active memory. So to restart the system, I will type the command sudo space reboot and press enter and your system will be restarted. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.